What is up fam, DNGL here, at it again with another YouTube video. Now for today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys maximizing tournament rewards week 19. Let's get straight into the news. Now this week, it is actually the, um, uh, whatever you, uh, I don't even know, the, um, the ultimate freeze tournament. So as you can see here, it is week 19. So uh, let's let's take a look at the spotlight players. So now, if you didn't know already, the new type of reward system that they added to the tournaments is this type. So they actually give you your rewards according to rank, other than your rank, not your rank percentage anymore. I think that's super cool, and it's actually a way better system because the more money you're willing to put into this game, the more uh, the better the card that you're gonna get. Of course, it's better for rewarding those top tier players, the top one to 100 players with the best card. So then they won't be getting the same um, the same type of card as you know the people who just bear go for the minimalist like top one percent, exactly one percent. But uh, you know, I think it's super cool how they added this you know type of actual type of reward system where you know it goes by ranks. I think it's, it's it's a much needed um, revamp of the reward system. But anyway, let, let's take a look at the uh, 92 overall Brad Wing. 81 speed, 90 kick power, 88 kick accuracy, 81 throw power, 80 66 throw accuracy score. So as you can see here, uh, Brad Wing, you know, he's fast. He's actually able to scramble. 81 speed, 87 excel. He's pretty damn fast. He's actually faster than a lot of the uh, base golds and some even base elites. So that's kind of it's kind of funny how they did that, and he's actually able to throw as well. He's got very strong kick power, which is what you want, and he's got pretty good throw power. Eighty-one throw power, that's pretty good for a punter. But and his throw accuracy is a little bit low, but he's better than like forty, which is most of the other punters' throw power. But uh, now let's look at the eighty-eight overall punter. You know, just a pretty much the little bit worse version of the ninety-two overall. The 84 overall, which I'm sure most of you guys will be getting pretty weak stats overall. I mean, <laughs> what can you expect, right? It's only 84 overall. 82 kick power, 82 kick accuracy. Now, I don't know how he how he fares against my Johnny Hecker, but uh, let's just see how much. Yeah, my Johnny Hecker is really slow, but 89 kick power, 88 kick accuracy. So, technically, Brad Wing does have better kicking stats, but... Um, yeah, and his Brad Wing's also got a little bit better throwing stats, and of course he's got better speed stats. So honestly, Brad Wing seems like he's a better punter overall. But um, anyway, if you guys are looking for a punter, any type of punter, I suggest you highly go for this Brad Wing. If you can't get the 92 overall, because I feel like he'll do you really far into the future. Seems like a really solid card. Anyway guys, let's move on to the reward tiers, which is probably your what you came here for. No, pick number one. Absolutely, absolutely pick up your gold ultimate freeze player pack. Now the reason why I say this and not to go for the 25,000 coins is because ultimate freeze players actually sell for 20,000 coins a piece, I believe. Yeah, uh I'm pretty retarded this morning but uh anyway that is not the right filter not the right filter but anyway as you can see here um the golds are actually selling for 20,000 coins so if you get three of them it's 60,000 coin value so you can either pick getting 60,000 coins or getting 25,000 coins and it's obviously here guys you're gonna be getting 35,000 coins more value than ultimate freeze player pack so definitely go for that now for pick number two, I would suggest the gift that keeps on giving just because 85 overall player at this point is not really worth it. And the gift that keeps on giving, I'm not really sure what it actually gives you with coins, tokens, and, and items with various programs. It seems pretty lit. It gives you coins, it gives you tokens and items, so it seems super lit. I just kind of like the idea of a gift that will keep on giving throughout the whole entire year of Madden NFL 18. So all the way until August, which is probably when this game is going to be shut down, you're going to be able to utilize this gift. It's going to be stacking up hundreds of thousands of coins for you over the time. So I highly suggest you get the gift that keeps on giving. This seems pretty lit. But anyway, guys, um, for pick number three, 
I think that the honestly the best value you get from here is Ultimate Freeze Legend collectibles. Let's just see how much they are worth right now. Ultimate Freeze Legend collectibles you go to Legend Ultimate Freeze. I am pretty retarded. Okay, Ultimate Freeze. That's it. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, let me put my iPad down, ultimate freeze, there we go, put my iPad back up, okay, ultimate freeze, as you guys can see here, I think collectibles seem to be going for around 90,000 coins, yeah, they're going for like 80,000 coins, well, if you do get five of them, ooh, this seems like a snipe actually, if you, should I get it? Nah, I, I'm, I'm too lazy, I won't, I won't bother, but uh, Anyway, um, as you guys can see here, um, they seem to be going for around 80,000 coins, 85,000 coins. So if you get four of them, that's basically five of them. You're getting 400,000 coins worth of value from the Ultimate Freeze collectibles. Uh, Legend collectibles, of course they won't be auctionable, so you're not going to be able to auction them off. But it is still 400 or 450,000 coins worth of value. And considering... Elite stack D players, they're probably only going for like 200,000 or whatever. So I highly suggest you actually get the Ultimate Freeze Legend collectibles because they seem pretty lit. You're going to be able to get someone, you know, Marvin Harrison or, you know, that that beautiful, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know who's the Legends anymore. I don't, it doesn't, I don't really care about them. But anyway, the, my main point is pick number three has the most value if you go for the Ultimate Freeze Legend collectibles. Now for pick number four. It is a no-brainer here, boys. Get yourself the Elite Ultimate Freeze Player Pack. I think that they're going for Ultimate Freeze Players. Are, elites are probably going for, you know, 400k, I'm guessing. It's been a while since I checked. But uh, last time I checked, they were going for 400k. Yes, yeah, they were going for solid 400k. 450,000 coins. Yeah, they seem to be selling steadily for around 450. Um, yeah, definitely go get yourself the Elite Ultimate Freeze player. Uh, get you one step closer to the, to one of those 96 overall masters and or that sweet defensive unit, the Frozen Tundra. Anyway, pick number five. I think you honestly, it's super tough, but in this, uh, if you're put into this position, stay away from the two times Elite Present Pack. Just because, you know, most of the time you're going to be getting junk presents anyway. But uh, anyway, um, I think you it's a tough decision between 100 times 95 overall neutralizer shards or the super stack D player pack. But honestly, I'm going to go for the 100 times NFL 20, 95 overall neutralizer shard just because I need a good offensive guard. And Joel Petonio is a good offensive guard. Um, but if... I weren't any of you guys. I would just go for the super stack deep player pack. Hopefully, you'll be able to pick one of those like um, Dallas Cowboy players and one of those really good offensive linemen. Anyway, that's probably the most value for you guys. It's probably worth like one million coins. Uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if this helped you out. Um, subscribe to the channel for more content, ultimate freeze content. I got some more lined up for you guys. It's gonna be super lit in the future. Uh, peace out, guys.